Hello! Today I'd like to show you how to make some wonky triangle blocks. So these are fairly um, simple to make but they do require a little bit of creativity. I have actually done a pattern using this block um, and I've called it those wonky triangles. It is available on my website gourmetquilter.com um, and today I'm just going to show you how I make that block. In my pattern I've used a slightly larger square than I'm going to be using today to show you. So in order to make this block um, it's a good idea to have a few fabrics together to cut all at one time. So I've got four different fabrics here and they're all cut into an 8 inch square each. So I've stacked them one on top of the other and I've stacked them so that the right side of the fabric is facing up. And now I'm just going to randomly cut a line right, right across. Now don't go cutting too close to corners or things like that. Come in a bit and go at an angle. Don't do a straight line. It's not a particular measurement. It's just going to be a random cut right the way across through all four of those fabrics. And I'm going to pull that to one side. And I'm going to turn myself around a little bit. And I'm going to do another line cut through here and again don't come too close to the edge uh, because you'll run into other problems if you do that. Again it's a random cut but more or less on that sort of an angle and then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to cut again. What I'm aiming for is a triangle in the middle and I'm going to cut again it's, it's a more or less random shape you're not trying to make anything exact and I'm going to cut right across there. So what I've ended up with is four shapes out of that square. Now we've started with eight inches. By the time we finish this block it's going to be a smaller size. It's going to come down and we're going to trim it to measure six and a half inches. Now to get started on making the block from the triangles in the middle, take the top one and place it on the bottom of your pile. Still right side up. And so now you can see when that goes together, I've got a different colour inside my outside edges. So now we cut these in a particular order. We cut them that one first, then that one, then that one, then that one. So we're now going to join them in the same order but in reverse. So this one will get joined to this one first. So I'm going to pick up the top triangle and the top corner shape and lay that over the top so that it's right sides together. Now, this is not an exact science, but I pretty much position it fairly central to the other piece. And we're using a quarter inch seam allowance. And I would just sew through that. I might do two blocks as we go, so you can chain piece. Um, so the same thing, tilt that over onto the next piece, line it up and do your quarter inch seam. This is really fun this block because it's not an exact size. Slip those apart and I'm going to bring the iron in and I'm going to press that seam. So I'm going to lay the triangle down, hold this other fabric up and lightly press over that seam. And now what you'll find is that these pieces are jutting out beyond. So I'm just going to trim those. So that they level with the triangle. Just makes it a bit easier and it'll be a tidier back afterwards. So let's do both of them. Right, so we've got that bit. So now we want to keep them in the same order. We're trying to put the same colour around the triangle each time. So now I'm going to pick up the next piece. And because we've taken that seam in there, you can see that it's now quite a bit longer. So just position it on there. It's not particularly critical um, as long as the triangle is fully covered with the fabric, the other piece of fabric. And now I'm just going to sew along that line there. And 
again back to the iron. Same thing, just press that And again, you can see I've got a little bit sticking out beyond here, so I'm just going to trim that off. Line it up this line through here. And now I need to add on my last piece, which is now quite a bit longer than that piece. Again, it doesn't really matter how you position it as long as it covers both, in, both ends of that one. And I'll quickly whip the other one through. Part, give them a quick press and then we're going to trim them down to a usable shape and size. So now you may find that you could get something slightly bigger than six and a half but I know I can get a six and a half out of that coming down from an eight inch square so I've got a six and a half inch square here so I'm going to just lay that on there and I'm going to cut all the way around it. Now you could cut it slightly wonky as well. Just remember if you do that, you will be losing some of the grain that you've got in your fabrics. You'll lose a little bit anyway, but um, it's not particularly critical. Again, as long as your points and things aren't too close to the edges, you want them somewhere in the middle area. So cut around two sides and I'll turn that around. And I'll trim the other two sides. And the same thing with this block here. That just needs to be trimmed down. And then we've got these nice six and a half inch blocks all ready to use to set into a quilt, however you choose to do that. So I have actually made a quilt um, for this pattern that I showed you earlier. So I'll just show you the quilt quickly. And just remember that those blocks in the quilt are slightly larger than these ones that I've been making here. So here I've made some of the blocks and I've just laid them together. You can see that the triangles, you can turn the blocks around to get the triangles positioned differently. And I have made a quilt, so I'm just quickly going to show you the quilt that I've made from my pattern. These are slightly larger blocks, um, and you, but really the same method applies you just need to work out what you can trim it down to when you get there when you use a different size square so working with several colors works quite well because you can just pull out the top one of the triangles when you've done that cutting pop it on the bottom of the pile and work through the pile to make the blocks thank you